Hi, and thanks for stopping by. I'm Larry Weinstein, and I'm both a CPA and the founder of SolveMyTaxProblems.com, based in Houston, Texas. And today, I wanted to answer the question, why won't the IRS approve an installment agreement? The reason that the IRS won't prove an installment agreement is usually for one of three reasons. The first reason being you haven't filed all of your tax returns. When an IRS grants you an installment agreement, what they're doing is they're taking all of the tax balances due for all of the prior periods, they're wrapping them up in a neat little package, putting a bow on top of it, and letting you pay off the loan through an installment agreement. It's effectively a loan that the IRS is giving you. For the IRS to do that, you have to have filed all of your taxes so they can determine if there's years in which you owe tax. They have to know about it so that they can include it in the installment agreement. The reason for that is that by entering into an installment agreement with the IRS, you are agreeing on a going forward basis while the installment agreement is in effect that you're going to file and pay all of your taxes on a current basis. So in other words, you have to have all of the taxes filed to get the installment agreement because if you get the installment agreement and one of the years is later filed and it generates a new tax, it's going to terminate the installment agreement. The second reason that the IRS will not grant an installment agreement is typically because all of the estimated tax payments that you made have not been made. If you're self-employed or you, or you have significant investment income, then usually estimated tax payments are required. And once again, if you file taxes in a subsequent year, let's talk about the year immediately after the installment agreement is granted, and you're required to make estimated tax payments and you haven't done so, when you file the taxes for the subsequent year, you're likely going to owe tax. And by owing tax and not being able to pay it, you're going to technically default the installment agreement that you just recently established with the IRS. Therefore, they require you to make estimated tax payments for the current year. And the third reason that the IRS will not grant an installment agreement typically is because you either have not completed the collection information forms, which is typically the ones that we see used a lot as the 433A. You either haven't completed the forms, you've either not completely completed the forms, or you've incorrectly completed the forms, or possibly haven't even submitted the forms at all. So that's it for today. The reason that the IRS won't grant an installment agreement is because all the tax returns haven't been filed, estimated tax payments have not been made, or the forms either are incomplete or inaccurate or not submitted at all. That's it for today's video. Looks forward to talking to you again real soon. Thank you.